Ciao amici, questo è il vostro DB che vi parla come sempre, benvenuti alla terza puntata di Aso Diabbi, abbiamo un piacere immenso di avere qui ospite il figlio di una leggenda della Roots Reggae Dub eh, Rockers, Augustus Pablo, ovvero Addis Pablo. Yes, How are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, I'm good to be here in the town. I'm going to be here in San Salvador. Yeah, know, yeah. Join the Yabi Jack Crew. Yeah, yeah. 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 you stayed here uh, last summer for the Reggae Summer Fest. Yeah, so we're here. But we're lo- less time. This time we get more time to go around. Last time was like we're in and out. So yeah. this time is good. It will be a couple of days to go around the town and yeah, no? eat some food and things. Yeah. Uh, last summer you came here in San Salvador for the Reggae Summer Fest. Yeah, so, um, What's your experience about it? It was a good show. I mean, um, it's nice to work with you know young young people, you know, doing such great works like the team of Yabi Jale, you know, yeah. putting together the festival and inviting us to come play, also featuring other artists and you know, so it was good, it was a good experience, nice vibes, good song. You can show it to, to our friends of the Abija crew. Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe you can play it. So exactly, the um, harmonica basically is an instrument um, created uh, by Harna. Uh, a few other people kind of claim to have created, but Harna was the first one that said to produce it on a mass scale, and it was used to teach uh, children to play the piano. It was like a recorder, a flute, you know. Is used in school, music school, in early days, like when you're young, going to school, you give you a melodic or record, so on and so forth. But um, as far as the relevance for it in the reggae and dub, of course, it stands to my father, Augustus Pablo, which he, he took this instrument and made it become a part of him, like his voice, you know. So yeah. he used this instrument to express a lot of great emotions and messages throughout his time from the early 1970s up until 1999, you know, so it's like 29 years of, you know, goodness coming from the Nautica, but um, of course he played other instruments and it's basically a keyboard with, that he blow. so, mm-hmm. you know, once you're familiar with scales and cards, it's like the same thing, it's just a very expressive tool to carry out a message and it's very significant to the culture of reggae music and dog especially, you know. Okay. Um. You can play it for our yeah, friend. Yeah, why not? Thanks a lot. Uh, fantastic. Uh, 
sounds good, vibes, good vibration. Silent Setter, you know, the song, it's an original song by the Abyssinians, you know, yeah. and of course my dad created a Malika version called Silent Setter, Pablo Setter, you know, so there's my take on the original classic okay. foundation. You know. okay. Another question. Uh, your debut album is called In My Father's House, no? True. And um, your father was an inspiration for you. Of course. Um, and uh, how, this, how, how uh, this album is born? Can you explain? Well, um, the album basically came together from myself and, you know, Jamie, the whole team, Sons of Dog, as well as Just Solid Rock coming out of Holland. We had a production house that was running for a couple of years, you know, to come with some solid productions. And he reached out to me via the internet on Facebook, actually, at the end of, um, it was end of 2011, but in 2012. And we pretty much just started work on it from that point until 2013. He would send me tracks back and forth, like the rhythm tracks, and I would vibes, and they would correspond and see how we felt about them and develop different ideas and concepts. And throughout that time, we also developed the artwork as well as the title in my father's house, which is like it's, it's a double meaning in the sense of, of course, my father, Augustus Pablo, growing up in his household, the house of music, you know, dog in instruments, keyboards, it was the lifestyle, as well as being Rastafarian, our father's majesty. It's come from the Bible, we say, in our, in our father's house, there are many mansions, so. It's saying that pretty much everyone is a part of the fullness, you know, like it's everyone has a place in the kingdom. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it is a very um, personal album at the same time, but it's still coming from like a co-producer, which is just like rock. So it's like a merge of a collaboration between us and them. You know? And it's a really good album. Good dogs. The last question, um, what about your future, what do you think to do? I mean for my future I think is this continuation of what I'm doing now and just furthering it and seeing how far it can reach because you never know. You know I would like to bring the Melodica in the front stage of the Grammy Awards, things like that, you know, like to put the, the culture in uh, the place, not the place where it deserves, but to get the full recognition and not just from the core audience and the support of but just like a worldwide acceptance for the message, you know, and the music and my dad's legacy and the shine light on the foundation, which is what we do at Sons of Dub, you know, paying homage to the Dub Roots Foundation style, you know, coming from Jamaica and originating in Africa of course, you know, through the tribal beats, you know, Maya Dindy drums, our beat. So yeah, we just wanna bring that message and that rhythm to the world stage. And continue, you know, bring for yeah. Okay. Give thanks, Addis. Yes, it's a real pleasure to Thank meet you. you. And uh, our friends of the Abuja Crew. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. The Abuja Crew every time. You know? Yeah, Addis, it's been a pleasure to have you here with us, with the Abuja Crew. And, niente, we salutiamo la prossima. Bibi, Addis Pablo. 
Yes, I am. What is this?